Seems like Coinbase is testing just how much BlackRock will actually back them. Coinbase is trying to get the lawsuit from the SEC thrown out of court, citing an extraordinary abuse of process. And going back to what Toby mentioned in yesterday's video, Tyler Rinklevoss mentioned, you know, Gary Gensler's quote, saying basically, if we're not losing a lot of cases, we're not suing enough uh, crypto companies. So abuse of process, check. Uh, also, speaking of Coinbase and trying to incentivize the survival of that centralized exchange, I mean, they got the backing of BlackRock, so uh, I think they're good to go. But additionally, what they're doing is they will be paying anyone who holds USDC on Coinbase, even if that USDC is in an open order, 4% APY. No, they're not lending it out. They're dipping into their own pockets, their, their own profits, and paying 4% to anyone who is holding USDC on Coinbase. So is it an exchange? Is it a wallet custodian? They are trying to blur those lines. Additionally, talk about, uh, you know, self-custody and one company that kind of disappointed millions of people in the cryptocurrency space, Ledger. They are pivoting a little bit to service uh, institutional investors and the kind of inter-trading that can happen between asset managers, custodians, uh, exchanges, and OTC desks, they're launching a new product called TradeLink, uh, trying to make it really easy for those companies to make transactions in a cheap, fast way. Uh, so it's really interesting to see the way that Ledger is developing. And if you guys want to know which hardware wallets we have our eyes on, we, I've done a, a number of videos. Additionally, Trezor is a solid option. And, you know, everything that's going on with the U.S. and how crypto friendly slash unfriendly they may or may not be. In the meantime, we have countries like Slovakia, who their lawmakers have now signed to reduce the tax on crypto which used to be about 20% down to 7% if you held it for at least a year. So Portugal zero. Portugal is zero if you held it for at least a year. So <laughs> still number one in my <laughs> list. Uh, if you're if you're not holding, if you want to know what the ins and outs of the tax with crypto in Portugal are, I've done several videos with my lawyer friend Maria. So if you're curious about that, just go ahead and in the YouTube search bar do crypto tips uh portugal tax or portugal crypto tax i'm sure lots of those videos will pop up and the most recent ones are addressing the most recent tax changes to portugal there also got to talk about what happened on june 29th with fidelity they threw their hat back in the ring to get their own spot etf pass for bitcoin uh they had originally applied for this spot etf in 2021 they were denied in january 2022 by our favorite gary gensler and now they're they're in the race uh obviously having this re reapplication so quickly since they were denied um i think they're they're seeing the winds of change are happening in the u.s and uh certainly an opportunity for them to make more money to present uh i'm sure an investment tool that many of their customers are happy to get exposure to if fidelity you know gets a spot etf approval they can offer bitcoin and for people's 401ks that's something that we've been asked about for years now on this channel how can i do bitcoin in my 401k which one should i do uh we always say self-custody and just doesn't hurt to get yourself some exposure to Bitcoin and to learn how to do it yourself. Those are skills that will change your life. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching today's video. If you guys enjoy it, please hit like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.